Nice. Freezing air coming out of here, and then we got the ice block in here. This is an awesome cooler, by the way, for this design, because you can easily fit the tubing and the pump along with a full frozen gallon jug, and then some blue ice packs or some ice cubes around it if you want. There's your water temp, 40.5, 4.6 Celsius, 40.5, and the ice, 3 Fahrenheit, 1.6, negative 1.6 Celsius, 3 Fahrenheit is the ice. Perfect. I set the fan just a little bit back and put it on low. That was like perfect for me, the temperature I wanted. But you can move things around as needed and that's pretty cool. It's freezing. Totally colder in this room than it was before. All right, so let me just jump right into it and show you how I put this all together. Let me start with the stand. Super easy to make the stand, by the way. It's just a 2x3 two and a 2x2. Two two. So 2x3s two on the bottom here and here, 5 inches long. And then the rest is 2x2s, two twos, one and a half inch squares and an 8 and a quarter inch long piece. The perfect drill bit, by the way, for these, the number 12, two and a half inch, is a 13 64th. It fits perfect. And that's it. If it works right, you should be able to slide that right in without it touching. Just kind of center it like that and then put it close to the radiator and you're good to go. Then the base for the fan is just a 2 by 6 four and a half inches long. I just found the balance point, drilled the pilot holes, set the fan aside, double coated it in white, put the felt on the bottom, and then just screwed the fan down. 
And that's how you make that. Here's the pump hook up right here. Real easy to do. Just slide it on and clamp it down. And then the water goes in right there and up the tube. Again, this thing comes out real easy if you need to flip it around. Like, let's say you want the tubes on this side, or you need to replace the radiator. This company sells slightly smaller and slightly bigger models of this, all exactly the same width. So you could slip a lot of different models in here if you wanted to for different size fans. Again, it's all 12 volt too. So the fan is 12 volt, the 12 volt power supply right now, and the pump's 12 volt that I'm using. So you can run it straight on 12 volt solar panels or 12 volt batteries like the lithium or the deep cycle or whatever you got. So it's really awesome, versatile and pretty cool. Okay, there's the solar hookup right there for both the fan and the pump. Pump's running strong, fan's running strong and you can see the panel right there. Wire right there comes in the door, just goes over right here. But it's just as easy as that. I just used a socket with bare wires to go there and then the bare wires to go there. And it's just an old extension cord wire that I go out to the panel. Running super strong. That's some serious air. Check that out. Beautiful. Hey there, just a final shot to show you the power supply I settled on. Gonna go with a 2 amp 12 volt 24 watt one. Real simple. Five bucks from Amazon. That handles the 16 watt fan and the 4 watt pump with ease. Of course, if you're doing solar panels or batteries, you can skip most of those and just direct wire it right to the battery or the solar panel. But 15 watts total on low, roughly, and 20 watts on high is all it pulls. One reason I love DC is that you can easily convert that to AC. You plug this into your house with a transformer and you sort of forget it's running on DC because it's coming out of the wall, just standard AC power from the source. So you can do AC whenever you want and then if you want to use it on the go, camping, in a vehicle, power outage, you got the whole thing set up, only 20 watts. Should shut fine. Oh yeah, perfect. That'll be great.